The extension concept is the greatest program anybody ever created. Due to the fact you was helping the needed, you was putting communities together, you was putting different groups, religion, gender, uh, race, uh, culture. You was putting all that together. I meet young folks that I had a long time ago. I have had someone to walk up and say, you are my 4-H teacher, that's what they would call me, and say, you know, you helped me to plan my life as an adult. I was in Walmart one day and a fellow walked up and he just gave me a history of some of the things I had done for him when he was a 4-H'er. And he said, I use some of those same ideas and strategies and say, you, you motivated me to do many things. And I uh, uh, understand, I understood that being fair, take a stand, do whatever you, whatever you think, you don't back off your stand as long as you have the evidence that it has done you some good and some other folks good. And you know, I always say what I thought. And if you don't say what you think, and, and you're right, and you got evidence to prove it and the evidence to back it up, then you just as waste the person who had done it. That's just the way I feel. That's the way I live. I came back with a PhD degree, and at the time, the J.J. Room, that black must be placed in the ministry and supervised position. Uh, Mike Sprott said, so we got to use some kind of methods to be able to rate folks uh, according to their performance. Now, Sprott, I came here, I wanted to see some kind of way we can get justified and rating, and you just don't look up and say, oh, a, you got a good old boy, and that's the way you rate him, he's a good old boy. That won't cut the job. Felt that I wasn't on the job just to appease anybody. I was on the job to make sure folks got justice regardless of what race, gender, or what have you. Uh, Dr. Ann Thompson, we were going to be in and talking about how to put, get blacks in the ministry at top position, that type thing. Dr. Thompson and I used to have some rounds, but I admire her for the way she held her, her rounds. And um, we would get to talking about that and she would say, well, one day, said, we can't find uh, blacks to put in the top position. I said, you, you can find folks to do anything you want to do, but you just got to put do a little more thinking about it. And she said, well, what, what, what how, how, how are you going to find them? I said, let's grow them. And that's the flow to her when I told them, let's grow them, to grow them. You're not going to have a successful community, a successful state, a successful count, uh, city, a successful nation, unless everybody can respect. Right now, we got a long ways to go. I would say that, and when I was a long ways to go, we got to accept people as to who they are and not who you think they are being.